Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I really want to thank all the new subscribers. We're over 600 now, which is just incredible. Um, maybe we'll do a live stream at like a thousand subscribers, who knows? Um, so I've been busy here uh, redoing my office, if you will notice here. Um, new, much better carpet, painted, um, cleaned it all out, just starting to get everything back together here. but. I wanted to make a video here on the Simple Core and kind of the final version here of the 200 by 200 build. So I button this printer up. I have my power supply mount here. I've got my power inlet back there. I have put those on the GitHub. Um, I have put on a G10 back panel here so I can mount all my electronics on the back. I have added my silicone heat pad here. We're printing directly to the PEI now. It's working pretty well. Um, I'm not super happy about the Omron um, probe. So I am going to be converting Simple Core to a clicky probe. Of course, I'm gonna put that all on the GitHub. We'll have config files and stuff like that for the 200 hopefully, and also 300 builds. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what the simple core here looks like um, all finished up. I am going to be taking this printer apart and we're gonna be converting it to the 300 by 300 build. So I have ordered all of the parts required here. I'm going with 500 millimeter 2020 extrusions across the board, so 16 of them. I think that really makes a lot of sense. Makes the printer nice and simple. You only need one size of extrusion, which is really, really awesome. So we're going 500 millimeters. That'll give me, easily give me a 300 by 300 build area, probably a little bit larger. I have ordered a custom G10 four millimeter thick build plate. I'm gonna try and print directly to G10. I've heard that um, it's an awesome printing surface. So I am gonna be printing to that. Um, I'm pretty excited to try that out. If I can eliminate the cost of the PEI magnetic build service, that'd be excellent. That'd save about $40. So always trying to do that. So um, I've also ordered all the parts for the Clicky Probe. I've got Omron mechanical switches ready. I got all my magnets, that type of thing. I just need to print out two parts, I believe, uh, to switch that over um, and a mount and that type of thing and go through the config and whatnot. So. I'm very excited to see uh, this printer in the 300 by 300 build size. So um, probably the next video you'll see will be the simple core 300 by 300 build. I am going to do another tab on my Excel sheet. I'm hoping to clean up my um, uh, the spreadsheet, the bomb for this printer. So I wanna kinda just make a one Excel sheet that will actually, or a spreadsheet, sorry, that will have the 200 by 200 simple core, the 300 by 300 simple core, and also all the parts for the Delta as well, my Phoenix Delta printer, so that there's one bomb, and at the bottom there'll just be a, a different sheet for each particular build. So I'm hoping to spend some time and clean everything up, make some nice clean categories, break it down like frame, electronics, motion, that type of thing, organize it all up. I also would really like to start getting some user mods onto the GitHub so people can put on mods for the simple core, that type of thing. I would eventually like to do a build series on this printer, like start to finish on a brand new build. Once the 300 by 300 build is complete, um, we'll maybe start another build and, and go through it right from scratch. So all the newcomers who wanna build this can kind of see how it goes together, um, how you level everything off, um, spacing the linear rails, all that kind of stuff. So I really, really wanna do that. I also wanna really make some more um, videos on my Delta, my Phoenix Delta. Uh, maybe we'll do some community challenges, things like that. Um, some slicer tips, things like that. So there's definitely more Core XY content coming and there's definitely more Delta content coming for sure. So um, again, I really appreciate all the new subscribers. Um, I will link the GitHub for this printer in the description below. I'll also link my affiliate for 3dhub.ca, which is an excellent place to buy Fadus hot ends. Um, I use Fadus hot ends on all my printers. They're really, really excellent. 
I also have sold my Voron Trident. Um, it's gone. It's going to help me fund uh, future builds, projects, things like that. So um, I hope to do some more videos and more builds, of course, on that. But um, please like, share, subscribe the video. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. And again, thanks everyone for the new subscribers.